What's going on guys, DC Reviews here, and today I'm here with another Marvel Legends figure review. Today I'm here to review the Marvel Legends Wingsuit Spider-Man suit from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Either you can call it the Wingsuit or the Stark suit, but I call it the Wingsuit. Let me just fix the camera, it was looking better earlier, there we go. Uh, this figure is a pretty good figure. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie yet, I recommend seeing it. I will do a review on the movie later. I want everyone to get a chance to see it so I don't spoil anything. The suit in the movie looks pretty good, and the figure does not disappoint. The figure is a really good looking figure. And if you didn't get the Civil War Spider-Man, well, uh, I think he's a better figure than that. He comes with more stuff. So just get him, and you'll be happy. But he does come with a build a figure or build a wing piece and some accessories. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So this piece I think is like maybe a middle piece to the wings. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure these connect or something. But uh it looks pretty nice for only two colors. I'm very excited to complete the wave. We only need the three villains of the wave. We just need those three and then the wave will be completed, and we'll have a full set. Our first, my my brother's first, I guess, build a figure. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. Has some detail and some paintwork. So now we got that out the way. Let's go and take a look at the accessories. So Spider-Man comes with a few accessories. He comes with an extra head, which this is the head that comes on Spider-Man when you first get him in the box but I like the other head better so I put that on instead then he also comes with two of the web wings which I will show when we get to the articulation of the figure and then he comes with extra hands comes with extra flip hand for the other for uh, his left hand and a fist hand for his right hand so Pretty, uh, pretty good accessories right there. I uh, kind of wish it came with wall crawling hands, but that's all right. We did get an extra head sculpt and some wings, so yeah, pretty good with the accessories. Now that we got that out of the side, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. So the figure stands just about. Six and three, I mean five and three quarters of an inch, which makes him just about uh 15 centimeters. So he is a smaller figure than your other Marvel Legends Spider Man's or your other Marvel Legends in general. Which I will go ahead and get one uh one Spider Man of mine, and we will compare this their sizes at around the end of the video. Now, look at his. Paint, paint work and the sculpt of the figure, it's pretty nice. Uh, I think they did a really good job on it. As you can tell, the web lines in it, where the red is, if you put your fingernail through it, it's sculpted in there, so that's pretty cool. And it goes with the same with the both, both of the heads. The paintwork also is nice. I haven't seen any bad paintwork yet on the figure. Uh, mm, there seems to be a little little spot, but that's minor. Nothing really bad with it. Uh, as you can see, there's some lines right here on his legs, going down, and on the back of his legs. More lines coming right here. And right here, same on this side. So they they put a lot of detail into this figure. Now, looking at your articulation, the figure, his head can go all the way up, pretty much. He can look pretty much just straight up. So that's pretty good. And it can look pretty much straight down. Can look side to side, and we do get somewhat of a head wobble. His arms can go 
a little bit past 90 degrees. We do get a bicep swivel right here, double joint and elbows, which work nice. When I did, first got him out of the packaging, I, I don't remember which arm it was, but this joint, I don't remember which arm it was, but this joint right here was stuck like this, so I wasn't able to get it uh, set before I finally heated it up a little bit and worked it around. So be careful. I don't know if that's going to be with all of the Spider-Man figures, but if it is, be careful to not break this piece. Next, his hands could go pretty much all the way down, uh, as you can see, but they don't really go that far back. Uh, we'll look at the flip hand. It doesn't really go down, but it can go pretty far up. We also get a butterfly joint. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Which works pretty nicely. You know, he can... All the way there. And then, looks pretty good in the front. So you can get a double flip like that. Next is ab crunch. You can hear that right there. You can hear it going down. And going back. Oh, too far. Uh, we also get a th this, but that's on pretty much every figure that they release. Maybe not every figure, but who knows. His leg going up is pretty, it's ex almost looks exactly 90 degrees. I don't know if it is exactly, but if it is, that's pretty good. Double joint knees work pretty nicely as well. We also get a swivel right here. And I don't know if my Spider-Man's like this only, or like some others are, but his, right here, I can move them in and out. So, you can get his knees out and helps with trying to get a better pose. Sometimes it gets annoying, but sometimes it kind of helps when you're putting him in a pose. So who knows, I don't know if you guys, if you guys as Spider-Man have those, but mine do. He can't really do the splits, he can barely go out far enough. But, uh, I mean, that's not bad. But for a Spider-Man figure, you'd think he'd be able to go almost all the way. We don't get a thing right here, like we do with the homemade suit. But we do get an ankle thing, so it can go that far down, that far forward, and we do get a nice ankle pivot, or an ankle rock, or whatever you guys want to call it. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get my spider, uh, <coughs> excuse me, jeez, I'm going to go ahead and get a Spider-Man so that we can compare the sizes between the two. So I'll be right back, guys. So the first figure that we're going to compare sizes with is the all-new 2099 Spider-Man. Now, as you can already tell, he is a little bit taller. Um, if you have not seen the review for this guy, be sure to go check it out. Uh, I'll leave a thing at the end of the video to go so you guys can click on it and watch this review. Uh, he's a pretty good figure as well. But, if we compare sizes, bam, he's a lot taller. So, yeah. Which makes sense, I'm pretty sure Miguel O'Hara, which is 2099 Spider-Man, is like an adult in the comic books. While as him in the movie, he's a 15-year-old kid. So, it kind of makes sense that he's small. But, we're going to go ahead and look at one more figure. So, I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. So the next figure that we're going to look at is the Jungle Demon Predator from the 30th Anniversary line. Um, as you can see, he gets to right here. So that's how tall he is compared to a Predator, so he is pretty small. I mean, Predators are big anyways, but he is very small compared to him. He's... Yeah. So, 
Now that I got the comparisons out of the side, I'm just going to move him over here. If you haven't got this figure already, I do recommend getting it. He is a great figure. If you like the movie, you're going to like the figure. If you like the suit, you're going to like this figure. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this review. And if you did, be sure to let me know by slamming that like button down below. And subscribe if you're new to my channel for more videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.